it's April from April's Home and today I thought I would share with you my recipe for broccoli bacon raisin salad. This is one of my family's favorite salads. We enjoy having this at a lot of our family gatherings during our holidays, during our barbecues, whenever we can. It's definitely a family favorite. So here are the ingredients that you'll need. You'll need a bunch of broccoli here. And in a minute I'll get this cleaned up and chopped up into little small bite-sized pieces and I'll show you what that looks like. I don't include any of the stems so I like to buy the flowerets that don't have a lot of stem. You'll need bacon. I'm going to go ahead and cook up two packs. You can cook up however much you want depending on how big you want your salad. We always make a nice big one so today I'm going to go ahead and cook up two packs of bacon. And then for the dressing you'll need mayonnaise, apple cider vinegar, and sugar and you'll need raisins. And we'll need a finely chopped red onion. So I'm gonna go ahead now and cook up my bacon and start washing up my produce here and I'll come back and show you what that looks like. It's also really helpful to have a really big mixing bowl um, to put all your broccoli in so that when you mix it around you're not spilling over if you use a slightly too small bowl. So I'm gonna get a nice big mixing bowl out, clean up my broccoli, chop it up into small pieces, same with my onion here, and cook up my bacon and then I will share with you how we make the dressing as well. Okay, so I have my broccoli all chopped up. You can see here little small bite-sized pieces. Some of these are a little big, some of them are a little bit smaller, but basically you just want to make them in a size of piece that people will easily be able to eat. So I'm going to go ahead and set this aside now and we'll work on making the sauce for this, the dressing for this. And I have out a little mixing bowl here and my favorite little whisk for making sauces. This is really wonderful for making dressings and different sauces and things. It gets everything incorporated really nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and set that spoon aside. I'm going to start with a cup and a half of mayonnaise, which is kind of a lot, but this is a pretty big salad. Normally I would start with a cup, but today I think I'll start with a cup and a half. So that was a cup, and I'm going to go ahead and add another half cup. Okay, so here's another half cup that I'll add. Okay, so I have one and a half cups here, and I'm going to add to this mayonnaise about a tablespoon of sugar. Now this is a recipe that I kind of do by taste a lot. So I start out with a basic amount, but then I add a little bit more as I taste it and see you know if it's too vinegary or too mayonnaise -y or not sweet enough stuff like that so actually now that I look at it I'm gonna go ahead and add a tablespoon and a half of sugar and I'll set that aside I leave everything out um, while I'm doing this just in case I need a little bit more now we really like the taste of vinegar in this house so I may add a little bit more um, than some people like but again go ahead and do it by taste for your preference you're looking for a little bit of a sweet dressing with a little bit of a tanginess from the apple cider vinegar you can use white vinegar too but I just feel like apple cider vinegar is really good in this recipe because it's with the raisins it's a little bit of a sweeter um, flavored dressing so another ingredient I'll start mixing this up a little bit to incorporate that vinegar I added a tablespoon there just to get started. And then another ingredient I forgot to point out that I'll be using for this is a little bit of milk. Again, just to thin out the dressing, I just add a splash at a time, just a little splash. We want it thick, uh, thick enough to coat it, but thin enough to sort of spread through the mixture. This is a really basic uh, salad dressing base that you can use for coleslaws and all sorts of different recipes. Um, with my coleslaw, I usually add a little bit more salt and pepper. This one, I leave out the pepper. And occasionally, if it's not tasting quite right, sometimes a pinch of salt will help this recipe, and other times it just doesn't need it. I think it's just based on perhaps the mayonnaise brand or just how I'm feeling that day. It's a little bit of a play it by ear sort of a recipe. Okay, so as you can see, this whisk is really incorporating everything nicely. We're having a nice smooth little dressing here. And when I'm cooking things like this, I always have a stack of little spoons. So I'm going to start by giving this a little taste. Just dip my spoon in there to see where we're at flavor-wise. Okay, so definitely way too much mayo flavor. So I'm going to add another tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. We love the bite. The bite that the uh, apple cider vinegar gives to this recipe stir that in. I'm thinking it needs a little bit more sugar. So we'll add probably three um, fourths of a tablespoon of sugar there. And I think for good measure I am going to add just a little pinch of salt there. 
just to help balance the flavor. Keep whisking that. I might add a little bit more milk. Make sure it's not too thick. You really don't want a thick mayonnaise flavored dressing. You want that sweetness to come through. You want it to just blend together in the salad. This salad is nice if you make it the night before. Today, I was busy yesterday at a wedding, a family wedding, so I'm making this the day I'm serving it. But you really want to have at least three hours in the fridge for this dressing to kind of um, blend in with the broccoli and the other ingredients so the flavors have time to meld together. The vinegar in this also kind of helps uh, cook the broccoli, so it's a little bit more edible. Um, that's the only way I can describe it. I don't love super raw broccoli. It gives me an upset stomach. So um, I like it when it's had a little um, time to work with the vinegar in this. Just helps it be uh, more flavorful and easier to eat. Okay, so we have that. It's time for another taste. It's really close. Still just a little bit too much mayonnaise. Just gonna add another little drip of apple cider vinegar. Now for some people this is gonna be too much vinegar. People who don't like the bite of vinegar, but we love it. Maybe a pinch more sugar. Just a little bit and another splash of milk. I think we'll be pretty close on this time. I just like to really work with this recipe. It's a little bit different every time, but if you start with the base of a tablespoon of sugar, a tablespoon of vinegar, and a cup, or a cup and a half of mayo, and a little splash of milk, that's a good starting point. Okay, it certainly looks like a nice consistency there. Let's see if we've got the flavor right. Just for good measure, Another little splash of vinegar, because we love it, and I think we're good. So this recipe is a little bit about taste. You just have to kind of work with it. I'm sure there's a recipe with the exact measurements out there, but even when I have recipes like that, I usually like to tweak it for our own personal taste. By the way, every time I uh, taste this, I'm using a new spoon. I have little tiny spoons that I got at Ikea, a whole pack. I use them for tasting sauces and recipes as I'm cooking. And I think we have it there. So that is the sauce. I'm going to go ahead and set this aside. I'm going to let my bacon cook up. And then I'm going to crumble that bacon. I'll show you that when it comes out. And I've got my red onion all chopped up as well. And I'll come back when the bacon's done and we can assemble our salad. Okay, so while we're waiting on the bacon, again, that has to cook and then cool down. And then I crumble it up into pieces. So I'm kind of waiting on that. Again, usually I do this the night before. Sometimes I'll even make up my bacon a whole day before, just have it already chopped up so the assembly of this recipe is really easy. If I find any big pieces of these, I go through and I kind of chop them up a little bit smaller. I have a nice big spoon here for mixing. I've chopped up my red onion here. I'm going to start by adding a little bit more than half. I don't like this recipe to be too oniony, but... Um, after I see how much broccoli I have, I just uh, add a little bit more or hold some back if I need to, and I can use whatever I have left over chopped up in other recipes. If I find big pieces like this, I definitely take that out and chop it up a little finer. This isn't as small as I normally make the um, onion. Kind of was a little hurried today there, um, but I do like them about this size. Little teeny tiny dices of onion, so you don't get too many big chunks of onion. This size will work, definitely, but I do the finer the better. So it looks like we can add a little bit more here. Okay, and just kind of stir that around in there. Like that set. And then um, we'll add our raisins here. I've got about a little more than a cup here. I'm going to add those in. See how it looks when it's all um, distributed. It's so hard to know exactly how much broccoli you've got because, you know, you're buying it in little uh, chunks of, you know, the heads of broccoli. So you don't quite know how much is going to be in a bowl. I've had this bowl literally toppling over. I have one bigger bowl than this out in my garage that I use for baking up big batches of bread that sometimes I have to bring in if I'm doing a really huge batch of this salad. Since we all love it, we like a nice big batch, so we have leftovers. 
Usually everyone takes home a little bowl of it. So definitely want a few more raisins here, but probably not much more than another half cup. So let's do like another little half cup there. I'm gonna stir that through. That looks like a good amount there. You can see a nice amount of onion and a nice amount of raisins. So this was a pretty big red onion and I used about, oh, probably three fourths of it. When I add the dressing and the bacon, I'll decide if I need to add the rest or not. So I've got my dressing back here. I've got my salad all mixed up with everything but the bacon. So I'm gonna let the bacon finish up, get that crumbled up and come back and add that in and show you the rest of the salad. Okay, so my bacon is just about done and ready to cool and then be ripped up into small little pieces to put in. But I've decided I'm gonna go ahead and mix in my dressing now, just to kind of get a jump start on that. So I'm just gonna pour that in, just like so. And then use my big spoon to stir this all around. Again, I'll stir it again when the bacon comes out. And it's all cooled and ready to be put in, but this way it'll start kind of mixing the flavors there. So just like so, I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of that mixed in and then get my bacon ready and I'll come back and show you what it looks like when I'm adding the bacon. Okay, so I have my bacon all cooked up and chopped up and ready to add to the salad. I'm gonna go ahead and stir this all up and I'll come back and show you what this looks like and get it into its serving dish. Here is the salad all complete in its serving dish. I'm gonna cover this and chill it for a few hours before it's ready to serve but this is what it looks like. An absolutely wonderful side dish for any of your barbecues or holiday parties or anything like that. A broccoli bacon raisin salad. I hope you enjoyed taking a look at this recipe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe for more videos from April's home. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.